I kept wondering why is it that they want a, a psychological evaluation from me, right? And I kept thinking, like, what? What is it? And then I kept that people kept asking me why. And then I thought about it. And when the police knocked me out unconscious and, and stomped on me when I was on the ground unconscious, um, after that, they put me in the back of the police car and they just let me there. I think I was asleep or knocked out for like four hours. They were supposed to call an ambulance because when you get knocked out, like uh, oxygen doesn't go into your uh, brain so you could have a, a, a brain damage. So the reason that they keep prolonging the evaluation I, I don't know why, because they ordered it since last year, right? But, I mean, so far, uh, I think it's going to get done next month in May. But it took them a year to do it after they knew that, you know, they knew all this stuff that's happened. So for them not to have done it before or send me to uh, the hospital to make sure that, you know, I wasn't uh, severely injured, that didn't happen. But that's the kind of shit that I, I've been dealing with. And the people that call themselves my family, my friends, they've been, you know, part of this. And you know how an art, uh, uh, a narcissist comes into your life and they turn your own family against you? Well, these are people that I grew up with for many years. And they just chose to jump on that woman's side instead of mine when... I was there for their children. Like, I was a nanny, basically. I was a nanny for uh, the children of the family. And, um, I mean, in my heart, I still love them genuinely. You know, they're children. They, they don't have no fault over what the adults do. Um, but, yeah, I was expecting a little bit more support, a little bit more love, more compassion, more um, kindness, more, uh, you know, just... Being a human, like, you don't treat the people that have been there for you for your entire life, and you just don't turn your back on them for no reason or explanation. Like, I could see if I did something dirty to them or I did them wrong in any way. I stole from them. or I don't know, but no, none of that shit. That's not me. You ask anybody. I grew up here in San Diego. I grew up in the system, and everybody that knows me knows that I don't, do people dirty, I don't play games, I don't go around uh, fucking people over, like, uh, Andy Mercado, like, <laughs> I was just uh, asked this question yesterday, a person that does drugs, are they a piece of shit before or after they started doing drugs, no, a person that does drugs is like the same person that gets rich, right? more of their own personality is going to come out if they do drugs or if they're very wealthy, right? Uh, uh, more of their character just comes out. It's not going to change. It's like a poor person that's nice. He gets rich. He's going to help out other poor people. Um, he's not going to think about, oh, I'm going to buy a yacht and a Ferrari. Now nah, he's going to be like, okay, I got this much. How am I going to spread it amongst all the people that I could help, you know? A uh, piece of shit's gonna be like, okay, I got all this money, fuck everybody. Uh, I'm gonna do me. <laughs> and that's the difference, people. Doesn't matter if you do drugs. Um, that It only enhances the type of person you are. Same thing with money. So that information is free. You don't have to pay me or send me money or nothing. It's free. Love you. <laughs>